Good afternoon. We're here at the Canadian Centre for Men and Families in Toronto. Members of the Canadian Association for Equality, an educational charity focused on the health and well-being of boys, men, fathers and families, to participate in and commemorate the National Workers' Day of Mourning, which takes place every April 28th, as a way of commemorating those who have died on the job or have suffered illness or injury in the workplace. We're going to light two candles as the opening uh, act in our ceremony today. One workplace fatality is one too many, but to solve this tragedy, we need to understand and respond to the affected groups. And the fact is that males account for the overwhelming majority of deaths on the job. In the period from 2005 to 2014, males made up 96.5% of work workplace fatalities from occupational disease and 91% of fatalities from workplace trauma. The most dangerous occupations, construction, manufacturing, and transportation among them, have in common that they employ a significant majority of male workers. One of our uh, advisory fellows is Professor Janice Fiamengo, an English professor at the University of Ottawa, and she had this to say. She says, my uncle died at sea when his salmon trawler capsized in a storm. A willingness to do the most dangerous work is an aspect of men's lives wherein their sacrifice for their families and their community is too little recognized. We're a men's health organization, so we challenge men to move away from an identity tied to risky or dangerous behavior. And we encourage men and women to demand a safer work environment for themselves and for their co-workers. Women have historically been precluded from dangerous professions. While the stated goal was to protect women, Dangerous jobs pay higher wages precisely because they are less desirable, and that's something we need to come to terms with and understand. We're lucky to be joined here today by one individual who has personally been affected by unsafe working conditions, um, who worked at a newspaper delivering papers for a year uh, in which he was asked to carry uh, overly heavy burdens um, in dangerous and unsafe conditions and has, as a result, been left with permanent injury and chronic pain. So what we're going to do now to close our uh, remembrance ceremony today um, is we're going to take a one-minute uh, pause uh, to reflect on all individuals um, that we're aware of, um, our loved ones, uh, who have died on the job or have been injured in different ways. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention and participation today. Uh, we're very pleased to have been able to join the WSIB and other agencies that are participating in the National Workers Day of Mourning on April 28th. Uh, for more information, you can go to our website, equalitycanada.com. Thank you very much.